This is our static determinacy and stability calculator for MathCelebrity.com. You can get there a few ways. You can type something like statically determinant, or if you know the number of members and joints you have, you can do something like this. So m equal 10, j equal to 5, or you could say j equal 5, comma, m equal to 10. You separate each statement by a comma. So when you're ready, you press the button. So the first line pretty much sums up your problem here. A truss has 10 members and 5 joints. Determine if it was statically determinate, indeterminate, or unstable. So we have this relational equation here, 2j equals m plus 3, where j is the number of joints, m is the number of members. So we plug in what you entered for j and m. And this is, might maybe hard to see here, this is a less than sign. So 10 is less than 13. So since 2j is less than m plus 3, the truss is said to be statically indeterminate. So what if we had 6 here and presses calculate? So now we have 10 greater than 9. And because since 2j is greater than m plus 3, the truss is said to be unstable. So we've had statically indeterminate and unstable. So let's try 3 and 3. Press calculate. So we plug in our numbers. Since 6 equals 6, now this is statically determinate. So that's pretty much it. We've shown you the three types of static determinacy. Calculator is fairly easy to use. One other feature we do have is a generate practice problem button. So you press this once, it generates a completely random member and joint problem. You press it again, it generates another random problem for you. So when you're ready to solve that practice problem, you hit calculate. We got 13 and 13. And again, since 2j is greater than m plus 3, this time the trust is set to be unstable. So that's it. If you have any questions or enhancements suggestions, please use the contact us link. Thanks for watching.